What's up guys, it's Lux again and uh, today I'm coming back with uh, a very high rated uh, gameplay so uh, this time I'm playing, uh, I'm still playing the uh, Flamvel uh, Zombie and I'm playing against uh, this guy Escape 3 uh, with uh, over 900 uh, rating so he, at the time he was uh, top 10 uh, on the GB ranking uh, system and I was, uh, I think I was around top 200 so yeah, a very high rated match and and I don't really know exactly what deck he plays. It looks it looks like a diva hero build, but uh, you'll see. I mean, he, he played uh, some uh, some deck cards, so he just yeah he just opened with a bottomless and uh, plague. And uh, yeah, I was not expecting uh, the plague to be set, but more like a Rico or something like this. That's why I went for the mind control, but. Uh, yeah, so I just tried to convert it in a synchro six, and he chose not to. Uh, reveal bottomless trap all and this will uh, impact the game later on so yeah uh, then I just set one trap and it's his turn uh, so he goes for the brain control on my king ADS attack me directly with it then he goes for the chaos vanishing my set so yeah he really took the, the game back uh, luckily me he only drew trap cards so he doesn't do anything but at the same time I, doesn't, I can do nothing either so yeah it's, it's kind of a Tall state uh, at this point, so uh, yeah, I just push some with um, the flamvel magician and uh, set my uh, wing wind blast. And yeah, so his main deck uh, breaker the magical warrior. So I, I was quite surprised. Um, so I just uh, bounce back the breaker, and uh, yeah, I don't really know why I did that. I mean, yeah, uh, this game one is really not going well for me. So I normal Cerberus, and here. Uh, I think he revealed the bottomless trap hole and uh, since he didn't play it on my synchro on my king at this uh, I thought there was no bottomless trap hole and I just ignored that trap card and uh, to me it was just a bluff but now it was a bottomless so uh, nicer brain on him so he, here he goes with the breaker again kill the magician and now I'm on the top deck mode so yeah and it's getting it's getting pretty bad because uh, I drew all all three rekindling already, and uh, the fact that the uh, Flamble Fire Dog was banished he really sucks. Um, so, yeah, so we just normal summon a uh, Griffer and uh, attack with it. So, oh yeah, this game one is going very bad uh, for me. So, now I'm gonna try to come back with a uh, rekindling play. Normal summoning uh, Goblin Zombie. So, I just needed the level 4 to make it to convert it in the Synchro 8. And uh, yeah, I go for the Stardust. And here, yeah. Um, well, I only saw the bottomless trap hole, so I thought, yeah, I mean, Stardust is uh, protecting, me, protecting me from Mirror Force, it's protecting me from bottomless trap hole, but I didn't think of the deep reason that was set, and uh, this will uh, catch me. So, yeah, I just uh, admit defeat, and uh, we can go to game two. Um, so, game two, uh, I think my hand was a little bit better this time. Um, well, yeah, I got the Goblin Zombie again. Two working link in the hand. So I keep drawing them so early in the game. So I just set the Goblin Zombie and the Enemy Controller. I just sided in. It's a tech card I'm working on. I don't really know if I should keep it or not, but uh, yeah. Um, so we banish the Chaos. Uh, go for the Heavy Storm. So I mean, I'm I'm seeing all the good cards. Uh, he attacks with Sangan. It fails, and I'm in the call of the unit. So I mean, that's that's nice. I uh, didn't expect to have this uh, resolve even uh, in defense with a uh, goblin zombie. And since uh, he only set the Sangha and I'm like, yeah, let's go for the server display. Um, and I mean, if he used the depression, it's fine. Uh, okay, I will just eat it up. So yeah, special summon on the Flam Flamvel Magician, he get the arm again at night. Uh, push some more damage with the goblin zombie. This time I made a miracle fusion. So he is playing uh, the... Hero part of the deck, but we never saw the the water monster uh, in his deck, so I, I don't really know. I think it's it's more of a dark diva hero type of deck. So I go for a synchro eight, get uh, my Stardust again, uh, but again he get he has the brain control in hand, so it won't help me so much. So I just uh, bluff my rekindling to make him think I have a trap card, but uh, yeah, obviously I don't. So he go for the Armageddon Knight play. Send the plague. Uh, return his card. Make a. I think he make a Goyo. No, he go. He goes for Bryonac. Okay, that's fine. And he just uh, pitch uh, breaker. 
And at this point, I was just afraid of Dark Arm Dragon, but he doesn't have it, so it's fine. Um, so I lose a few few life runs. So I reveal my set uh, reckoning. No, not yet. Uh, first, yeah, I go for the Zombie Master, discarding the Flamvel Gem Magician just to get more uh, Flamvel card in the grave and uh, make more uh, level 4 to make uh, more synchro rate. So I go for the Rick Link. He had Silent Judgment, but it's fine because I can activate the second one. Anyways, so I go for it. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, I fill up the world uh, with my Flamvel cards. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm thinking about going for games. So first, I go for Stardust because I'm afraid of uh, Torrential. Or mirror force or bottomless. So this works. This works out. I get to play for later. Then I make another synchro rate. I go for fortroller for <laughs> to play around the deep prison, um, and it works. So I clear the Bryonac, get some life points, so I don't get uh, OTK'd. And here is at 75 life points. I try to attack with Stardust. He go for deep prison. So that's fine. I mean, he's so low already. Um, and yeah, we know we're out of range from the, for the brain control uh, that he stacked up. So yeah, he got only one card to play and it's, and it's return. So he goes for the return and he gets to 40 life points. So I never had a, an opponent going uh, so so low. Um, and yeah, uh, he go for the dark end play. And uh, yeah, he has the, the plague, but the brain control doesn't do anything. And uh, next turn I can just go for a single six. So. Yeah, so, but he, he still cleared the board, so I mean, even with so so few resources, uh, he managed to clear the, the, the board, so pretty impressive. But uh, I can just go for instant fusion, and yeah, it was a go guardian, and I would have won game two attacking the dark end. So, going to uh, game number three, and yeah, he was also playing Fiendishan, which was kind of surprising. And here he has two Miracle Fusion, but again, no water monster, so I don't really know how many water monster he was playing. Uh, so yeah, he tried to bluff me out with his spells, uh, which is fine. So I just go, yeah, I, I play it slow. So I set the pyramid of also the mystical space typhoon. Luckily me, he didn't uh, punish me with uh, Chaos. So he go for breaker, try to pop the MST. So I just chain it and uh, yeah, I pop the return, which uh, doesn't really do anything at this point. I mean, the only card I would like to pop is finish end, but uh, I don't know it uh, for now. So Pyramid Turtle FX, a special summon Goblin Zombie. And at that time, I didn't understand understood why, but he, he tried to mill himself with Sengen. I think he was just uh, trying to put some uh, heroes or water monster to, the, to his grave. So nice try, but uh, he f it failed because it was sudden judgment. And he had to take the Royal Decree because I saw he was playing so many traps. Um, so I tried to bait it. Out, so I just go for the Chaos play just to get some value with my Goblin Zombie. I'm trying to banish the Sangan, but he stops it uh, with the Fiendish Chain, so that's fine. So here the Goblin Zombie will trigger, and uh, also I can set my uh, Royal Decree, but he had the Mystical Space Typhoon for it, so this sucks. And here he keeps on top decking good cards, but at the same time, he doesn't see his engine, so I'm fine. So he just, uh, yeah, crash the Sangan, which uh, reveals his, I mean. Uh, he's kind of desperate to, <laughs> to to make something work with his hand, so I think he, he goes for Diva, yeah, that's what he does. And uh, yeah, in phase 2 we go for the Deep Sea Diva play, and he summon a Diva, so this term he doesn't play uh, the Spine Gilman, so yeah, a very low water uh, ra monster ratio, and so he just make uh, two synchro with my board, so one Stardust, one Guyo, so it's looking pretty bad for me. Uh, but luckily, yeah, he's out of, uh, I mean, trap cards. So, yeah, I can just uh, add up the brain control house also. Um, so, yeah, I go for the zombie master, discarding the goblin zombie. And I get back the turtle because I just wanted a, a wall of uh, protection if uh, that... Uh, <laughs> just to, to kind of uh, slow, uh, slow him out. Um, so he goes for the Goyo Guardian, clear my uh, Zombie Master. He doesn't attack over the Pyramid Turtle and he sets his, uh, his Call of the Unity, which again doesn't do much. And I think this was a bad play to attack with Goyo Guardian because now uh, if I have a Flamble Fire Dog in hand, and I do, uh, I know he will resolve clearing the Zombie Master. Will This will allow me to make a Synchro 8, like a Colossal Fighter, and also it will just uh, fuel my graveyard for the Hurricane that I still have to top deck. So I just go for the Goyo Guardian, 
clear the stardust to get it back. And uh, yeah, attribute both Stardust and Goyo Guardian to uh, normal summon, normal set uh, Gors to clear the both synchros. So yeah, because I, I couldn't out the, I mean, Stardust and the Goyo Guardian. So yeah, just uh, set my Gors. And uh, here I go for Call of the Unted, which really suck for me. So get back the Goyo Guardian, clear my uh, Gors, get the Gors back. So yeah, this Goyo Guardian is doing so much work. And he set uh, the prison this time. So the flame the fire dog will fail if I ever try to. So I try to. I get it. Yeah, I, think I get met with the deep prison. So going to another turn. So I keep top decking miracle fusion. It, it will uh, all the tree, but uh, no hero monster. And also we never see any hero monster hero cards in this deck uh, in all those games. So now he's trying to push some uh, some damage. So we're clearing one total pyramid, a second total pyramid, a pyramid total, and then I get the reaper just to. Uh, to stall him out, and also it set up my uh, synchro set play, synchro seven play. So I normal summon uh, Flamvel Magician, go for Black Rose, and it doesn't it doesn't have anything. So yeah, I can clear the ball. And here I saw the Miracle Fusion. I was kind of surprised, but uh, so he had the water in the grave, but no hero card, so I'm fine. Uh, it update trap the shoot, which which sucks at this point. Uh, so I just normal summon Kaiku, and I was I was. Fearing the girls at the same time, if uh, Kiku resolve and I banish the water monster, I know it will never resolve the miracle fusion. So yeah, I just uh, first I just set uh, plague because I was kind of afraid. He keep on top decking uh, useless cards. So now summon uh, Kaiku, uh, attack directly because uh, if there's girls, I can make a Goyo Guardian, which will just uh, beat up the the girls. So I banish both Diva and I set my Mirror Force. But this time it goes for Heavy Storm, then he got the Breaker. Breaker will clear the Kaiku. So this sucks. Uh, and uh, then, no, it doesn't do anything, so I just top deck another Kaius. So I just go for the Kaius play. And I was, I mean, it was such a good move to, to set my Plague beforehand because it allowed me to, yeah, normal summon Kaius and just uh, banish Breaker. And then he just re revealed his hand and showed it that he doesn't have anything. So yeah. Uh, nice showing of the the Flamvel uh, Flamvel uh, zombie deck against this uh, Dark Diva hero deck, I guess. So yeah, pretty high rated. Uh, and there's some I got another gameplay with uh, another top ten uh, guy on the ranked uh, DB system. So I will just uh, I will just showcase uh, more of this deck. So yeah, I was uh, very uh, glad I won uh, I won this match. Um, so yeah, uh, I see you in the next one. Bye bye.